Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Shadow Empires in the multiplayer series with Das Tactic. This is round 15. I think this is the start of episode number 6. And this is the kind of report that I like to see. We killed 200, 200 infantry. We didn't lose anybody. I am so hopeful that we're starting to dig in and get, you know, gain ground. In fact, we even finished power plants, so we won't have any power issues. Not that that's, you know, not that that's a huge concern for us right now. Okay, so as we expected, this person is out of supply, but we will have to kind of... Oh, this person's actually perfectly fine. Amazing. Let's look at the history before we do anything else. This is just seriously some amazing, amazing developments. The fact that we were so on our heels. I don't see what's changing here. Okay, moving on. Oh, was it here? I think one of these might have shifted to the next one. All right, this attack went whoa, did not go well. What? So they must have won this because nobody took any casualties. No. They attacked here, and they did lose a hundred, but they pushed yeah our hundred units back. We just retreated right away. Is what happened. And then they attacked here and they lost 100, but we didn't, we didn't die. That's our, they attacked our base. They attacked our base. So I think they have a unit here, uh, a marauder, and yeah, okay. Oh boy, and Das Tactic is nice, has put himself right up against us, that's fantastic. It's very good news, we're actually pretty happy about that. Okay, holy cow, is it possible, can it be done? Uh, this is actually a minor. What? We had no idea. <clears throat> oh, this might be the remains? No, I mean, he would have conquered the city by now. <clears throat> okay, you're back up to 88 supply. I mean, this is, this is amazing. The fact that we're getting back up to supply. So, how do I do this? You have no supply, we'll move you back. You will now hold this territory. You're green, so you're gonna rotate out, probably. We, if we could, actually this would be really good. Can we, is it possible for us to pinch this unit off? Actually, that gave us enough recon to see what we're up against. Only two units here and one unit here. Is this the time that we attack? Eight to one. I'm gonna take eight to one. I'm probably gonna end up attacking there. Um, this is just, it's insane, but Okay, this is looking pretty good. Recon of five. I had to guess that, that would be okay. All right, you're still kind of in position. Uh, gosh, I mean, the thing is, these are not going to respawn. <laughs> if I move here, and I move here. Ah, oh, damn it. I was really hoping that that would open up new stuff. Okay, well, let's get this unit back a little bit closer so that they're not out of supply completely. We kind of, in some small sense, do risk losing the tractor here. Our border with Das Tactic should be secure, should be fine. I'm going to play a strategy card against it. Oh, nope, that's Ask for Help. <laughs> okay, never mind. Oh, we have the Ancient Archives and we have two Fate Points. How did we get another Fate Point? I don't, I don't know, I don't really care. Gives unit give selected unit this special support unit feat. Um, I forget what this does, but let's use it on somebody who's about to die. All right, let's look at our decision first. Okay, workers hold a vote. The workers council has organized a referendum under the employees of Supreme Kim, the Supreme Council. This resulted in a demand for slightly less working hours. The workers council argues it will actually improve eff efficiency. Our choices are either going to move us more towards democracy or more towards enforcement. Well, I've actually been pretty happy with enforcement. The logistical bonus, though, I don't think we've gotten it yet, have we? Efficiency goals, let's take a look. Oh, looks like there's a, a leader profile now. Okay, interesting. Um, efficiency goals has not been discovered. Neither, in fact, has discipline, which wouldn't be a bad thing. I don't think we're gonna have much tax with Probably, I imagine, not that many people. I would like to keep bureaucracy at all costs. Public economy is just, I doubt that this is going to impact us. Free market is actually more important, but again, probably not something we're going to be able to, 
to do. Yeah, so I'm on. I'm we're on the patch P now. Um, uh, P is in Papa. How do we deal with this? I guess we want to make them happy. So this one kind of does everything. I think that's fine with me. We'll go with this. Make a compromise. Yeah. Everyone's happy. New organization. Yeah, we, yeah, sure. we just can't afford that in like every possible way. Hawkland caught one of our spies. What? Well, yes, let's smooth things over, which we can do. It will increase our heart. And right now, what's our... It will remove the possibility for us to get logical thought. Research is such a minor thing right now. I'm going to go ahead and do this because yes, Hawkland was pleased. Hooray. That's, that's, I think that's good. Do we need to buy a little bit of time before Hawkland invades us? This is a hard AI, and that's like, if you're wondering, like, oh, it's only hard, Tortuga. What do you... Yet, yeah, in this game, hard is extremely hard. What's your composition? You do have 600 soldiers. Okay, that's that's a good thing. I want to move this guy up so he can also attack, but I don't think that he's going to be very useful in that role. Um, I know that we have a lot of people with low experience, too, or we probably do. And yeah, they actually have been in so many battles, they're not doing too bad. All right, let's take our... Ooh, 2.8? What happened? Well, that's not going to work. Oh, right, our posture modifier. Of course, we're on the defensive. So yeah, okay. Well, then we know what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna just sit tight and try to hold. I'm gonna move here. I don't think that this unit's gonna move north. If they do, we do have one militia who can try to react to it. If this is just a group of trucks, which is just hilarious to me that we have trucks holding the line. Probably shouldn't be the case. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so this is what we have to deal with. These guys, when they're tiny like that, or this one separated group, I really wish we could attack them. Actually, I'd, let me take a look at postures now that we... No, we don't have any postures. Okay, fair enough. All right, food-wise, we're doing okay. We're actually able to distribute now, I think, stuff. Oh, yeah, this is this is good. This is very good. You're going to get supplies next turn. You're actually not going to get supplies, although you're so close. Actually, okay, how much movement? This is going to take 45. It's going to ruin our... Um, yeah, but that's so important. And we see, another, we see another one over there. But unless they cut him off, and that's... You know, very likely that that will happen. But unless they cut them off, we are going to have green supply here next turn. And that really helped even this unit to get to yellow from blue. So that's that was nice. If it holds. Now, with the uh, IP slowly building up here, <laughs> we're going to wait for this to get all the way up to 200 before we commit to our um, water. And... After the water, we're going to need to wait a while to commit to an industry, and we'll need to commit to, sorry, the uh, ruins first, which means we'll need to clear this hex, which is not going to be easy. It's very, very, very well defended. Just because they have huge entrenchment, just from moving into the ruins, you get 100, I think. So, Well, now that we're not going to do this attack, we might as well do a bombardment. See if we can land a hit, get lucky. Hey, if we get really lucky, we can land a kill. In this series, I somehow doubt it. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get lucky with anything in this series. Let's just take one more look at the possible attack ratio. 3.5 to 1, so that it might be... It might be worth it to do that bombardment and not attack with that unit. Again, if we can land a kill, that's really the big thing. This force will drop by 10%. That's the, that's the ideal. Maybe if we get lucky, we'll also get them some more militia from our from our people. But we're not going to bank on that. So this turn, I think, is over. Um, but there's hope. I mean, like I, it was such, I was filled with despair, and we can never win this. But there's a little glimmer of hope now. What I think we'll do is just close this pocket, and hopefully one at a time, slowly pick these units off. If we can push them out of the ruins, that would be the best. Obviously, that's what I'm really advocating for. And it's nice that my um, Supreme Headquarters actually has a little 
a bit of a backlog of soldiers at arms. In fact, what I want to do is also get, yeah, we need like 100, so let's also get a small backlog of machine gun people. 268, that seems good to me. <clears throat> it's also going to increase the defense of our SHQ itself. And it gives them a little bit of time for these troops to train up before they're deployed um, to the combat units, even though everybody is on the front lines right now, including the HQ itself. So that's also a combat unit. <laughs> All the more reason for it to have some machine guns. All right, wow, amazing. So we might, we might be able to hold this together. Things are looking a little bit better. I don't think there's anything else to do. Obviously, we're just holding on assets. We're holding on everything. <clears throat> I want to build a road as well. I was thinking about doing that this turn even. We could build this, which would increase our supply there. But honestly, if we get this road, if we are able to secure this area, that's probably the best bet for us. Let's do this ancient archive. Let's just execute this. Serpentization. Oh my gosh, what a terrible, terrible, this, uh, man. I'm glad this is not going to be a long series. I, you know, honestly, I'm complaining about it because it's a very, very low uh, an easy to achieve thing not something we're going to need. So um, this turns water into energy, to power. That could even be something we need. Um, and the reason why I was a little disappointed is because it's not very advanced technology, but honestly, this series is not going to go very long. So if it's useful for us, then that's all that we need. Okay, now I'll catch you back. Round number 16. And I have to say, I believe we're back on steady footing. We've killed 600 infantry. Let's see how that happened. Okay, three new stratagems. And there we go, okay. So it does not look like, oh wow, oh boy. Some very aggressive moves here. But it does not, oh my gosh, everybody is in supply. Okay, let's see what happened. Okay, so Das is moving north. These guys are moving south. They lost 500 in an attack to the north. That's fantastic. This is 1900, so they should have only 1400 left. Oh wow, we, they actually cut me off for a moment. Um, rifle militia attack down here against my militia, but they lost 100, so that was a, just a steady hold. That means there's one more attack. Oh, it was 600. Okay, so 600, that, that accounts for it. Okay, well, very good. And that means this unit might not be the best to attack. We have kind of a weird situation here where... So this unit broke out. He, he, essentially, he broke out from the, our little stranglehold. And, man, <laughs> Hawkland is just waiting for us. They're like, I just feel like they are chomping at the bit to go after us. We have an opportunity to raise our mind. Um, so basically the commander of our first machine gun, our army, wants to erect a statue. Um, if we do it, it'll give government plus six, heart plus six. Government would be perfectly fine by my, you know, for me, but the heart actually is not as good. We actually have a heart mind battle going on. Um, so this needs to get down to 39 eventually, which means six points. That means this mine will probably drop to like 59, 30, 41, 59, 41 probably. Two points for this and four for that. I think, I think it's usually two to one in favor of the dominator one. The one that's pointing at the other one usually only decays half as quick. I think, I have not verified that. Um, we will lose a little bit of government but we can actually, I think this is just the one we're gonna Roger do. I, uh, I'm not like, I didn't read the options very carefully, but I know what I wanna do. Uh, now we could do an attack against this unit. I would prefer, however, to completely cut them off. The moment this uh, militia can just vacate the ruins here, that would be wonderful. Also, we have this funny situation still where we have this truck, which has no combat power whatsoever, just driving around on its own. We might as well use this to just go explore. <laughs> it can't do anything on its own. Um, maybe move one here. We know the militia are right there, but I do want to, you know, increase my buffer. 
do this, and probably this. Can you move? No, you can't. All right, so how would this attack look if we decided to do it? 2.5, this is unacceptable. So knowing that they keep bleeding off forces, I think we'll just let them continue to bleed off forces. And you can move here. I think that's, honestly, I do think that that is the best decision. Although, okay, I don't think that they're gonna be able to, especially with such low readiness, they probably aren't capable of doing movement here and then to here. Food is dropping, but it's not. we're not in dire straits quite yet. Yeah. All right, and let's get our, our main guy back a little bit. Something like this, just to push them away, essentially, hopefully direct them north, northeast. Don't take my factory. That's extremely valuable to me. <laughs> Yeah, we, we can't really do an attack. I mean, we have men to spare, too. We could do an attack and actually have it go poorly. Let's do um, a bombardment first and see what that gets us. 78 recon is not very much. Apparently, the artillery battery is not very decent. Okay, one, it literally... Oh, it got one hit at the very end. One hit. Damn, the readiness is down to eight, but no, that's only because we only we were only looking at three hundred. I don't know, man. That two point five. Two point five. I just feel like we're gonna suffer pretty bad losses. Ah, <sighs> so I feel like the more appropriate stance here is just to hold. Hold the line, boys. I wish there was something more exciting to do, but, um, yeah, what we're probably going to have to do is wait. Man, we just... By the way, it, um, I hope that Das wasn't sour about me taking this factory. I didn't really consider it because it's. I know that it's pretty close to my home, and uh, I know how desperately I need it, essentially, <laughs> having been pushed back and having barely being able to keep our, our lines open. Um, but I mean, it, it, we should look at it from a different perspective. We should say, it's it's pretty great that DAS has allowed us to get this. <laughs> it's very I'm very thankful that we have the opportunity to use that, even though it's at the expense of DAS being able to use it. And you, you know, sometimes you might want to just put all your eggs in one basket. We should just feed DAS the best relations, the best you know industrial stuff and all that. So I mean I've been able we've been talking a little bit more and it's it's pretty clear to I think both of us that he is in a, a little bit of a better position and I, I mean, remember our long term goal is to eliminate this other major and you can see how long it takes for us to do that even just yeah so instead of yapping on I'll end this turn and we'll catch you back for the next one okay welcome to round seventeen this will be the last round for this episode. We killed 900 and we lost 500. I've actually already seen this turn because I had a, a bug, um, three, uh, a game crash, a hard game crash. So we cannot press manage during this turn. In fact, I hope that all the other buttons work fine. Yeah, let's go to the history and see what happened. So we lost uh, 500, we killed 900. The big one is that this is our HQ. You saw our commander in the history, you might have seen that our commander died. They completely eliminated the HQ force, just completely eliminated it. It's dead, it's gone, goodbye, including our leader. Um, they then attacked our city, uh, lost 200 militia for their troubles. 900 attacking into this doesn't seem like a sensible attack, we're probably like much stronger than them. Uh, they also attacked this unit, we suffered 100 losses, they suffered 300. I really like to see those higher odds, we'd like to get back to that. Whew, had to sneeze. Anyway, so uh, they attacked again another group, and this one also held off. 200 losses, uh, 200 kills, and zero losses for us. So, um, man, interesting thing is that they have these decisions, and I cannot look at the profile stuff because our game will crash, but I think we're just going to go ahead and go with... Um, do, basically, the question is, do we want to go with autocracy... Or do we want to try to hold on to mind? 
because um, this will give us fist and fist will limit mind so 40 will bring this down to 60 I think that's actually okay I'm, I'm probably okay to do that we're not it's not like we need to but that's only for this one decision and the other decisions we have to wonder about the same thing so militia can remember to flak which I mean we, we could get by trading I think another five credits just don't think it's gonna be a good idea to do that <laughs> we'd rather save our money for um, you know needing to buy food We'll accept a candidate. It's actually nice to increase the pool of candidates you have to draw from. And then back to this decision. And it, it really is a tough one. I mean, if we choose to do this, we also make banks a little happier. This is the person in charge of the Economic Council. Look, they're not happy. They have like no BP to work with right now. Probably the most impactful thing is just not pissing off the director of our Supreme Command Council. Although we do have enough political points, so it doesn't really matter. I guess it just comes down to how do we want to play this. And I think I'm going to try to store up um, a buffer for autocracy. We may need it later. So I'm going to do this. Didn't hurt our relations with the economic advisor guy, but just didn't help him. All right, so uh, I don't even know how it works, by the way, that we lost a complete unit. I've never had that happen before. So we need 400 units, but do they reform on their own? Let's do 500 just to have a small buffer. Let's see, what are we looking at here? Is it okay to do 500? Yeah, I mean, hey, we're actually almost up to the point where we can build our water, and then we can build our... I'm sorry. Why do we need water? Oh, God. And that was the sound of my game crashing. It's actually several days later. We had to wait for a patch that uh, was able to fix this one. Um, yeah, so now, what was I even trying to do? I don't know. I was trying to get water. Do we even need water was my question. Items would have been the right place to look. Water is not on the menu. Which is interesting. I guess... Are we not producing? What happens if we just turn on production? Production is turned on. It's mothballed. Let's activate it. Okay. Now we're going to see what kind of water concerns we have. And we should have the industrial capacity or industrial points to start building next turn if we need it. <clears throat> Again, I still want these militia to have a, an escape route. I think what I'll do is I'll shift everyone down like this. Somebody in here, shift. Have this person do a ranged attack. We'll leave this open. In fact, I'll, what I'll do is I'll do it like this. Actually, yeah, we'll get you here and the militia closer. This is some kind of militia. I guess it's militia. <laughs> anyway, um, they'll move down here instead that we keep everyone closer, although pff, there's no HQ over here anymore. I was trying to keep these guys together, but that no longer matters. Okay, well, anyways, if they go back this way, we'll try to, you know, destroy them in the rune. I mean, anyone, we want to take the runes. It's still what we want to do. We're going to leave this hex open for the same reasons. We're trying to give them places they can go besides being in the runes. Other than that, we'll just do a quick bombardment mission. Not expecting a whole lot to happen here. And exactly nothing happened there, so no surprise, but you know, still disappointing. Um, well, look, we gotta, 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 gotta keep the path line to our our fact our uh, tractor factory open. So I'm going to do something like that. Hopefully this unit doesn't continue attacking and annihilating my units. Although it does seem like it would be pretty easy to do that against 100 militia all by itself. Oh my lordy. Desperate times. These are truly desperate times. Well, at least Das is close by and hopefully he's doing well and, you know, <laughs> we'll see. So that's going to conclude everything I need to do for this turn. Um, we'll probably start building the water next turn and then, I think. 
I don't know. This is this is a, just a tough, tough, tough situation. <laughs> uh, okay, but until the next, and the, I guess this is the last turn um, for this video. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. It's been quite a wild ride, and we'll catch you back for the next video. Until then, thanks for watching and take care.